I mean, this part is candy, so I'm going to pull it off. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you got it on the dress. Just like flick it off like it's a fly oh. or something. Happy Halloween! No, it's not quite Halloween, but we are celebrating Halloween in a very warm climate. Today we are at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party here at the Magic Kingdom. So much to see and eat. There'll be cupcakes, there'll be hot dogs, there'll be hamburgers, and so many drinks. I'm ready to celebrate Halloween. This is Iconic Eats Halloween Edition. August, which is literally the hottest month of the year. Um, and Disney's like, you know, it's okay. We can start celebrating Halloween now. Also, do you want to see the details of my outfit? I am a pumpkin queen. Pumpkin Mickey, pumpkin queen. Mickey, pumpkin queen. This is what we're getting. This one right here. A witch mini apple. Caramel apples are classic. They're like a big thing here at Disney and Magic Kingdom. So of course they gotta make one Halloween. This is the mini witch apple. And I love a caramel apple. But what I love even more is that there's marshmallows on top. The ears are marshmallows. Get any of the apples? No, I just got sugar and chocolate. Are you gonna get in slow mo for me to bite this apple? Duh. I feel like it's only fair. Oh, no. Did we mess up my makeup? I quit. We just started. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> we just started and I'm already a mess. Do you want the towel? Cut! The apple was delicious, my full review. Get it, but don't eat it in the hot sun because it will melt all over you. And now I have to reapply my makeup. This is only the first item. <laughs> We're doing great. elixir of youth. She lit the black flame candle and made a black tea slushy with a kiwi foam on top. That was a very interesting face that I just made. Yes it was. Because I was trying to figure out what the flavor is. Okay wait. Two sips. Hold on. Let me try let me try it again. It tastes like iced tea but like raspberry. I'm very interested to see what this kiwi it's very green. This kiwi foam, very sour and very unsettling. Oh my goodness. This looks so rude to be like, stick out my, my green tongue. <laughs> Did you get a close up on like this foam? Look, like, look, it is, it's bubbling. Like, see the bubbles pop? Oh, you see it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why it's still. Oh my God. If it, I don't know if that's intentional. If it is Disney, you are a genius because this really looks like it's a potion and it's bubbling up and I'm a, yep <laughs> look at the Julia's face it's like oh, oh, oh. that's what's so, so fun about coming to Mickey's Not So Scary because like a lot of the food is like interactive like this so it makes you think you're drinking a potion so this is the pain and panic hot dog from Casey's Corner we have been here before remember last time we came for the 50th episode and I tried that rather interesting hot dog that had funnel cake and bacon jam it's a strange flavor combo I don't even want to talk about it just go watch it okay this is a lot better this is an all beef hot dog just like you get at Casey's but it has hot Cheetos on it onions a spicy mustard it is very hot as my tongue in pain and panic just a little bit but i love spicy and i love hot cheetos the cheetos on top give it like a crunch that you just really enjoy it's casey's but with a halloween zip halloween twist halloween spice <laughs> let's go oh my god look at the castle i love that like you can come in a little bit before the party and like get the pre-party atmosphere which is like just Main Street dressed up for Halloween and the beautiful castle. And then you get this wonderful sun. 
perfect for taking pictures. Chelsea, get my close-up. Get my photo. Fashion. peanut butter M&M's churro. It is covered in a peanut butter sauce, a chocolate sauce, and M&M's. This is gonna be messy. I need my wet naps ready. Oh my God. How dare I pick it up and not get all of my ants on a log. That was better than I expected. Oh my God. The sun had got to it. And when I bit into that M&M, it exploded in my mouth. I'm gonna see if I can recreate the, the moment because it was quite enjoyable for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, it's just like warm, chocolatey goodness on the inside. And I don't think that was an intentional. They didn't think about that when they made this churro, but it's a good side effect. One of the cool things about coming to the party a little bit early is that certain treats are available before the party starts. Other treats are exclusive to the party. So everything we've tried so far is something you can get any day at Magic Kingdom during Halloween time. But everything we eat after this, it's special for the party, so you gotta come to the party to get the treats. You gotta come on, let's go. We have a little bit of time before the party starts, and so I wanna get something special. So we're gonna go to the Christmas shop, and I'll show you what it is. Wait, wait, Christmas shop for Halloween? Yeah, oh, well, the Christmas shop is all year round, so you can get Christmas ornaments whenever you come here to Disney. But it is going to be a Halloween-themed item. But we'll make we'll make it out. I'll explain it later. Just come on. You see, the old Christmas shop. We are going to get some special personalized ears just for the Halloween party. I'm not gonna need these anymore. I'm like so excited. I'm so excited. Wait. Oh my God, they look so good. Iconic Eats. It's gone down in history. We officially have ears, you guys. I'm ready. So here at Ye Old Christmas Shop is where you can personalize your very own pair of ears and they have different designs for each holiday. You can get them that are themed after the fireworks or Christmas or even Halloween. So the ears on their own are $29.99 and then the personalization can go anywhere from $3 to $12 depending on how much you want. So I'm going to wear these for a little bit longer because at 7 o'clock is when the party starts and something very special happens. It is the only time that adults me, not under 12, can wear full costumes. So the Halloween party is the only time you can do this and I am gonna take this opportunity to be a princess. Woo! The spell has Ooh. been cast and at seven o'clock, the Magic Kingdom will transform for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Is Halloween your favorite holiday? Christmas is actually my favorite holiday, so if I'm ex this excited now, wait till we do a Christmas episode. <sighs> and I'm making a crew wear jammies for that one. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> exclusive Halloween treat. First stop is Tomorrowland and we're going to Auntie Gravity's to get some Halloween classic treats. I'm gonna trip over my dress. I have to like hold it while I walk. This is the Not So Poison Apple Milkshake with apple fritters on top. There is a green whipped cream and then the straw has a marshmallow on top of it. Look at the poison apple. Is this going to be apple pie in a cup? Let us see. It does taste like apple pie. It's like apple -y, cinnamon, 
I like really want this donut. I don't have a lot of hands. I have. I'm gonna take the, the gloves off. Help me. Help me. Free me. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's. <laughs> Okay, now I'm free. Oh, I need some dip in action. Oh. <laughs> Can you turn into a gremlin? Oh my gosh, it's so good. This donut is like moist and warm and soft. Should I take a bite of the poison apple? <laughs> Please don't get green on your dress. I feel like it's regular marshmallow, but it had like a little extra like zest on it from like the whipped cream. I like this. But we have one more item here at Auntie Gravity's, and it's a treat that comes back every year, but this time it's a little different. You'll see. This is the Sweet Candy Corn Soft Serve Swirl. <laughs> I practiced that one. Okay, so the candy corn ice cream comes back for almost every party, but in a different way. So sometimes it's just like a cone, sometimes it comes in a shake, but it's, it's a classic here at the party. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh, this one, it has like a white chocolate bow on it that looks like a candy corn. We're just gonna pull that off. Take a little bite. I like that you're protecting the dress. Always protect the dress. It's sweet vanilla. It kind of has like that burnt sugar flavor that you would think candy corn has. And it's a swirl. You get it in an orange cone, which makes it even more fun. It's just aesthetic, it's just really pretty and a fun way to eat ice cream. <laughs> I'm like, get it away from me. <laughs> and it's a hazard if you have a big dress like me. So now we're going to Cosmic Rays for the Bayou Burger, and I think it matches my outfit. Come on. So I told you before that a part of the party, you get to trick or treat. So this is one of the trick or treat locations, but as soon as you get inside the park at seven o'clock or sometimes before, they have a map. This map is very important because it's gonna tell you where all your parade times are, when all the show times are, but most importantly, where all the trick or treat spots are. This is gonna be your guide to having the best Halloween party ever. So all the treat trails are lit up by a sign that looks like a giant candy corn that says treats. So I have a spicy burger. It comes with jalapeno pimento cheese and zuby sausage and garlic pickles. Y'all know how much I like pickles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go to slow-mo. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Somebody told me I was pretty. As I like literally shoved burger into my mouth. It's spicy. It's saucy. There's a lot of levels of spice here. The pimento cheese definitely has a kick to it, and Dewey sausage is always way spicier than I ever think it's gonna be. And the garlic pickles just kinda cool it down. If you are not somebody who's into like Cajun flavor, there's bubbles. Did y'all see that bubble go? I was like, what is that? Uh -huh. If you like Cajun flavors, if you like spice, then I would go for the Bayou Burger here at Tomorrowland Terrace. It tastes amazing. <laughs> So since my burger is appropriately, oh, hello, queen. Yeah, no, you, you are the queen. Stop. <laughs> the queen of hearts told me she liked my dress. Am I gonna cry right now? All right, so since I'm in my Tiana dress and I have a Bayou burger, I'm gonna finish my Bayou burger while we walk to the next stop, which is not that far, it's right over here, so come on. So this is the cold witch's brew. So it is French vanilla cold brew with a pumpkin spiced foam. And then it has like little candy pieces on top. It smells like pumpkin pie. You know how like sometimes like pumpkin spice has like that artificial smell and sometimes it really smells like pumpkin pie? This really smells like pumpkin pie. I'm pretty sure you're gonna want to mix around the foam in order to get a little bit more sugar or just add you some more sugar to it. But this is gonna be a quick pick me up to get me to the next location. Wait, no, we're staying here. We're staying here! What goes better with coffee than a little pastry? Know anything about Disney World, then you know the Cheshire Cafe always has 
the Cheshire Cattail. It is a classic here. Everybody loves it. It has chocolate. It's doughy. Tastes like a croissant. Well, they took that and were supposed to make a Zachary Binks tail, but because it's so popular, they're sold out and we get his paw. So it's the same flavors, but a different shape. And it's filled with chocolate. All of this food is messy. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's a warm puff pastry with chocolate in the middle and you really can't go wrong with that. It has icing on top of it. The little cat paws are really crunchy. Nice little treat when you stopping by the Cheshire Cafe. I highly recommend. So we have done two sweet things in a row. I got my coffee, I got my pastry. Now I'm gonna try something savory. the Hades hot dog from the Friars Nook. It is a beef and pork hot dog with a Hades relish. I can only assume that that means it's hot. And then a house made violet mustard. It's purple and green and red. My crew, Julia and Chelsea, thinks that this looks very interesting and this, are maybe a little turned off by violet mustard. I am, however, not. So the beef and pork hot dog is supposed to be spicy. I also just, my voice just cracked because I feel like I just ate too many spicy things at the same time. Why is it so spicy? Why is it so spicy? Okay, let me try to relish by itself so I can see if that's spicy too. A lot of taste testing and burning my tongue. <laughs> no, that's spicy too. Julia told me to do that. <laughs> But they also comes with tater tots, and those are nice and cool, extra crispy, just like I like them. Good old Disney World tater tots. I know I'm obsessed with these tater tots. Guess what the next thing we're gonna try is? More tater tots. These are the um, Poco Loco tots. It has chorizo, it has green onions, and a Hades cheese sauce. They're called the um, Poco Loco tots, so I'm thinking about Coco and the song on um, Poco Loco, but then they have Hades cheese on them and that kind of bothers me. I think the Hades just means that it's hot, but I'm like, don't mix up the characters. All right, let's try. Oh, wait, I really like the chorizo. Sometimes chorizo doesn't have like as much flavor as you think it should, especially like when you're at a theme park, but this is a really nice chorizo. It's like bold flavors, you taste the garlic, you taste the like fennel in it. It has a very nice sausagey flavor and then that Hades cheese, that's a little bit of spice, it's more like nacho cheese, and then you have those crispy tater tots. If you like Disney tater tots, you should try the Un Poco Loco Tots. We have the Worms and Dirt Funnel Cake, and you can hear the Headless Horseman is on his way down the street it's a real horse and you can hear the clop clop. It's it's so good. But let's try this funnel cake first. Mm -hmm. Oreo crumbles on it, gummy worms, chocolate ice cream, and then a headstone. <laughs> Theme park funnel cake is always good. Gooey, doughy, crispy, hot and fresh but then it has the extra bit of like the theming. So it has the Oreo pieces for the dirt, the worms for the worms, and then this really cute headstone. I think an A plus for theming. Is it, is it weird to dip your worm in chocolate? <laughs> oh wait, that was like blue raspberry and chocolate together. That's not a bad combo. So the Boosa You Parade is about to start, but before the parade starts, the Headless Horseman comes around, and he's on a real horse. So we all have to like not be in the way. It's so cool. You're, you're gonna love it. And then afterwards, it's the Boosa You Parade with the Grave Diggers and all the characters. It's one of my favorite parts of the party. It's the Headless Horseman. Oh my gosh. This is kind of a momentous event because this is the first time anybody has seen the Headless Horseman in two years because there was no Make It Sound So Scary Halloween party during the time we shall not talk about COVID. But now that the parks are back open, this is the first time that we're having a full Halloween party in two years. So everybody's just really excited.
Okay, so these are the grave diggers from Haunted Mansion, and they do these tricks with their shovels and make sparks. It's so cool. Both wreck and Ralph floats smell like candy and it smells so good and so sweet in here. So like I said before, there are trick-or-treat locations all throughout the park. So when you come in, you get your bag and then you go ahead and get your candy at the trick-or-treat locations. But there is an allergy-free option for somebody who may have um, a peanut allergy or a soy allergy or any type of allergy you have. There is allergy-free trick-or-treating so what you do is you go to the regular trick-or-treat spots just like everyone else but instead of candy they give you a coin and then at the end you redeem all your coins here at the allergy free center and they have things that are more suitable for your dietary needs and sometimes they even have little toys instead Let's take a field in this is the almond sweet corn cake no, it is not a piece of corn. It is a cake with candy corn and icing on it. And it is the legitimate size of a whole ear of corn. I thought it was going to be smaller. It is definitely a hefty piece of corn. Wait, it is cake. It's cake. It is not corn on a cob. So I'm not going to like pick it up and uh, eat it. The candy corn just gives it like extra chew, but it's just fun because it looks like corn, like an actual piece of corn, but it's really cake. The size is massive, so I definitely recommend sharing this with you and your whole family. You will not be able to finish this whole cake by yourself and eat a bunch of other treats. So now that I've had this very interesting cake, I think there's a couple more items that are Halloween themed and very interesting looking. So let's go try some more. We are at Golden Oak Outpost and we have the Spellbinding Hand Pie. Fried Pie. Fried Pie. Spellbinding Fried Pie. Binding. Bi I said binding. Is it bounding? Spellbinding. The Spellbinding Fried Pie. It looks like the book from Hocus Pocus. See, it has the little eye and then the, the like little squiggly lines of like the stitch lines from the, the book in Hocus Pocus. And here is buffalo chicken filling. So it's buffalo chicken, blue cheese, and mozzarella cheese. Um, and then on top, this is a jalapeno ranch aioli. I mean, this part is candy, so I'm gonna pull it off. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh no! 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 <laughs> you got it on the dress. Just like flick it off, like it's a fly oh. or something. No! It doesn't belong on the pine away. It's a piece of candy. It's just an accoutrement. So I was the most interested to try this out of all of the food that we were going to try today because I love buffalo chicken. I love blue cheese. And I thought it was going to be the most interesting, like a buffalo chicken hot pocket. And that's exactly what it is. The dough is super crispy. It has those little pockets of fried goodness. The edges are crispy and the filling is like hot and you immediately get like that earthy umami flavor from the blue cheese, but then like a little bit of spice and zip from the buffalo chicken. Since I have been going to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, there has never been an item like this. So if you want to try something really new and but also like feels familiar, very handheld, very street food, get the fry pie, but don't eat the, the candy. I mean, unless you want to, but it just doesn't go with the flavor profile. You ready to get something iconic to Disney World? Let's go. So we are at Sunshine Tree Terrace. This is the Jack-O-Lantern float. It is that signature orange swirl. It has a brown sugar whipped cream on it and then Fanta soda at the bottom because there's a float. I'm interested to see what orange and brown sugar taste like together. I feel like this might be a good combo. Okay, journey with me. Imagine an apple pie, but instead of apples, you got oranges. So the same like 
flavor profile of like warm and spicy with cinnamon in it. But instead of apples, you have oranges, so it's like zesty and bright and like a summer dream. You know when you get that first sip of Fanta and it's like it burns a little going down your throat and then like all of the like, I don't know, saliva receptors in your mouth start like salivate. It's very mouthwatering. I want someone else to try this. So Julia, it's your turn. You need to try a Disney World classic. Ooh, shit melted. Julia review. Is your mic? Wait, it's super. <laughs> Am I close enough to her mic? <laughs> it stings a little it bit. It does, right? right? You're like, oh! Yeah, <laughs> I see what you're. Wait, wait, take a little. Right? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we are. Sorry, don't hear Julia. We're a mess together. I mean, what more review do you need when Julia tells you? But it does. It, it does, like, give you, like, a like a tingle almost it's a it's an experience when you come to disney world if you haven't had orange swirl try it but for this party for them to add the brown sugar on top that just gives it something extra it's truly unique okay bye, bye. oh you're good say goodbye bye. the Mexican Spice Hot Cocoa Brownie, and it has Miguel on top. He is dressed up and he is ready for the party. Oh my God, it smells like pure cinnamon. It's very dense, very chocolatey. Just breathing cinnamon and chocolate at the same time. If you like Mexican hot chocolate, if you like dark chocolate, and if you like cinnamon, definitely get this. The monster cookie ice cream sandwich. We got this from Plaza Ice Cream, which is right across from the castle. It's the stop you go to before you see the fireworks so you get your Sunday. And what a perfect way to end our trip here at Mickey's Not So Scary. Watch the fireworks and eat an ice cream sandwich. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, this ice cream is soft, this cookie is soft. It's like a really doughy sugar cookie. It feels almost half baked, which I love, because I like to just pull it apart and dip it in the ice cream. Happy Halloween. It's my favorite part. I can say everything my favorite part. I do love the parade, but you know what I love more than parades? Fireworks. We're about to see the sky light up with some villain spooky themed fireworks just for Mickey's Not So Scary. Oh my God. <laughs> we have had such a good time here at Mickey's Not So Scary. We tried all of the treats some things that were very delicious and some things that were interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on another day at another park for another adventure. Bye!